after that so further chromatin fibers are coil and condense to form that chromosome in human beings so chromosomes are 2 meters so then uh, human cells in human cells dna having dna has 2 meters long and having 23 pairs of chromosome means 46 so that is about that uh, nucleus so in that nucleus after the structure of that chromosome the nucleus chromosomes are clearly okay so it means identified to study in that metaphase okay so then in each chromosomes in each chromosome chromatids are connected at the center connected at the center the center part is known as centromere or primary construction this known as that centromere so chromatid means half of the vertical part of chromosome this half of that uh, vertical part of chromosome is known as the chromatid it is known as half of vertical part of chromosome so generally this chromosomes are okay staining parts they are that uh, stained parts so this chromosome means the latin language chroma means color chroma means color soma means bodies so this color bodies are known as that chromosomes okay after that at the centromere both side disc shape like structures 
they are known as the kinetochore both side of centromere two small discs present they are known as kinetochore okay it is known as that kinetochore okay so this small disc it means at the time of cell division at the metaphase so spindle fibers are connected to, to that uh, centromere of that kinetochore so these are that spindle fibers spindle fibers are connected to that kinetochore of uh, okay centromere of chromosome at the time of uh, metaphase so that is known as that uh, structure of that chromosome so based on the centromere okay so generally if chromosome having only single centromere that is known as that monocentric uh, chromosomes if chromosome having single centromere that is known as that monocentric based on location based on location monocentric chromosomes are four types first one is the metacentric submetacentric acrocentric and telocentric first one is that metacentric chromosome so in that metacentric chromosome it is a metacentric chromosome so it means centromere is present exactly at the center chromosome in the centromere is present centromere so centromere is present exactly at the center so that's why the arms are appear just like that we shape okay that is known as that uh, metacentric so about that in some in about that in some chromosomes at that non staining part are present at a constant location so they are known as that secondary constriction or secondary centromere secondary constriction or secondary centromere are present in some chromosome at uh, they are the non staining part okay so they are present at constant location they are known as the secondary constriction or secondary centromere so it is known as a metacentric after that sub metacentric so in this centromere is present present in this at the center 